cheers, folks. Thanks for checking out some instant screaming. I've got two more movies to help you out for your Friday night horror fix. First up, we have The Ouija Experiment 2, Theater of some such bullshit or other. Uh, this should be available on Netflix and is the sequel to The Ouija Experiment, which was kind of a mockbuster version of the uh, big budget Ouija that came out. Uh, except it was surprisingly, um, surprisingly good, surprisingly high quality movie. Actually very entertaining and um, played around and had a lot of fun with its found footage conceit. Unfortunately, whatever luck the original had with it to make it so entertaining has completely run out this time and the sequel just is not a very good movie. Uh, they've decided to roll with a meta aspect this time, setting the movie in the real world, taking place at a theater that's holding a premiere party or a premiere screening with a horror festival around it for the original movie, so all the, uh, the actors, the entire cast, is back playing fictitious versions of themselves as the cast of the movie. And they're attending this party and they've been pimped out by the organizer of the, the film festival uh, to run an immersive haunted house experience inside the supposedly haunted theater. And that actually, to me, sounds fairly interesting on paper. Unfortunately, the actual movie uh, just has completely and utterly failed to make itself in interesting. The, uh, the events and the plot are just dumb, the acting is awful, and even the editing is bad. I guess they tried to make it seem more natural and real world by having flubbed lines and, and camera mistakes and stuff like that end up in the final product. Except, it's not a found footage movie this time, it's supposed to be shot well. So even though it's from basically all the same people, we've gone from something that was actually way more promising than the major studio version of a scary movie about a Ouija board, to something that seems more like a film school project than a follow-up to a sleeper hit. Which is really kind of unfortunate. But, since I always like to bring you some good news when I gotta give you bad news, uh, We Are Still Here has recently appeared on Netflix, and I actually watched this when it was on uh, Amazon Prime. I think I paid for it, and it was well worth the money to pay for it. So now that it's free streaming on Amazon, you bet your ass it's still good. The best way I think I can describe We Are Still Here is that it's kind of a slow burn ghost story punctuated with moments of extreme violence and visceral gore. All right, now this is sort of an odd combination now that I really stopped to think about it because uh, ghost story movies are usually considered safe from the kind of extreme tastes for blood that uh, subgenres like the slasher creature feature tend to have. But the melding here of the more deliberate pacing of the ghost story in its DNA and the kind of more subtle bumps in the night of the haunted house side of its parentage combined with, you know, exploding chest cavities and crushed heads is actually very, very satisfying. The story itself here is about a couple of empty nesters who've moved to a large house in the country following the tragic death of their son and the mother's subsequent depression. But as, you know, things in these movies tend to go, the house is actually inhabited by the vengeful spirits of a family that died there in the mid-1800s. And then, of course, things unfold as you imagine they would in this sort of movie, which isn't to say that it's completely predictable. There's still enough of a mystery there, and it is handled fairly well, but it's really not the main point of the story. As far as the technical aspects go, the special effects here are really well done, and the acting is pretty good. The scare scenes are particularly impressive, especially one scene containing a seance which uh, has a beautiful escalation to it. And I really like the design of the ghosts that they do show them off instead of the usual crutch of a haunted house movie where they hide the spirits and only show small little bits. So the fact that these guys play front and center in a lot of their scenes is, uh, you know, A plus all around. Good job, guys. Anyway, that's all we've got for now. Thanks for checking out some instant screaming. If you have seen either of these two movies, uh, do please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of them. If you have any other movies that you'd like to see on this show or on Modern Horror, also leave that in the comments below. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. And if you are feeling particularly awesome, you can check out our Patreon campaign here. In the meantime, cheers, folks. Thanks for watching.